cruisers such as the USS Oklahoma City, equipped with Talos launchers, will soon roam the oceans of the world as the long-range air defense of the fleet, ever alert and always ready. Talos, a beam-riding, rocket-launched, ramjet-propelled missile designed for surface-to-air or surface-to-surface -surface use and can be equipped with either a conventional or atomic warhead. At the depot, the warhead is prepared for missile installation. This warhead, the Mark 30 Mod Zero nuclear warhead, was designed specifically for the Talos missile. The warhead in its stockpile container is tested with a continuity tester. The warhead is now placed on the warhead maintenance stand for assembly of the adaption kit components. With the adaption kit components installed, the inner body sections are fixed to the warhead installation. This inner body acts as an air diffuser for the ramjet engine of the missile. The warhead section is now tested to ensure that it is properly mated to the missile. Spare warhead sections are packaged in containers and shipped to the cruiser as emergency spares. The missile is fueled prior to shipment to the cruiser. Loading from a dock is a normal operation. Missiles are loaded onto a strike down elevator on the missile house. The missile house on the cruiser is equipped with two strike-down elevators, one on each side. The strike-down elevators receive the missile, or the booster, and lowers them into the magazine. Both missiles and boosters are stored in this magazine area. Power carts running on fore and aft transfer rails transport missiles from the magazine through the ready service area into either of two checkout areas. Missiles stored in the ready service area are first positioned in the mating area. The power cart brings the booster to the mating station. Here, the missile and booster are mated and the mated combination stored on a ready service tray. The center tray hoist raises the missile to the loader rail. The rail moves the mated combination into the wing and fin area. Here, wings and fins are attached to the missile and booster. The ready missile is moved onto the launcher arm for firing. During normal peacetime operations, Talos cruisers carry 30 missiles in the magazine, 15 for each launcher arm. In addition, 14 missiles are stored in the ready service area, 7 for each launcher arm. Spare warhead sections are stored in a special magazine on the cruiser. An overhead bi-rail hoist has been installed in this space. This hoist is used to remove the warhead section from the deck chocks across the magazine and onto the elevator. The elevator raises the warhead section attached to the hoist to the second deck. Here the warhead section is placed on the warhead positioner and positioned so that the warhead section is vertical. With the hoist attached, the warhead section is hoisted to the checkout area where it will be mated to the missile. In a typical loading sequence from the dock, the booster, shown here on the strike down elevator, is lowered into the missile house magazine. With the booster still on the strike down elevator in the missile magazine, 
The magazine crane raises the booster to clear the magazine stanchions moved across the magazine and stored. Next, the missile is now lowered from the top of the missile house to the magazine by the strike down elevator. Missiles are stored in the same manner as the booster in the same storage racks. The booster and missile are equipped with special handling bands to facilitate handling. The hooks on these bands are called shoes. These shoes are used to hoist the units into the magazine racks. Missile and booster handling bands also furnish support for the units when stored in the magazine racks. The side shoes on the bands secure the units to the magazine stanchions. Missiles to be stored in the ready service trays are loaded. The handling bands removed. And the missile moved from the strike down elevator by the power transfer cart. Traveling on the fore and aft transfer rails the cart moves the missile into the ready service area. The power cart now brings the booster into the ready service area and positions it on the mating stand. Using the booster shoes, the ready service crane hoists the mated combination and stores it on a ready service tray. When a missile in the ready service area is due for testing, the ready service crane removes it from the storage tray and places it at the mating station. Here, the booster is separated and returned to the ready service tray. The power cart moves the missile into the checkout area where the cables for the TATI tester are attached. The name TATI means Talos Tactical Tester Equipment. As the tester goes automatically through each set of tests, the 50 red lights on the fault isolation panel go out as the tests are correctly and quickly completed. When all tests are completed, the master green goal light comes on and the missile is ready for use. Returned to the ready service area, the missile is mated to its booster and once again stored in its ready service tray. The ready service trays containing the missiles that are ready for immediate use rotate much in the same manner as the cylinder in a revolver, the trays acting as chambers. Any tray may be selected from a remote control panel. No special order is required and any missile may be selected at random. When a missile is selected for firing, the tray is positioned and the loader rail prepared. The center tray hoist raises the missile to the loader rail and the rail is attached to the booster shoes. The fire door opens, the center tray is lowered and the missile traveling at 12 feet per second moves into the wing and fin area. The crew quickly attach the wings and fins to the missile and booster. The arming plug is installed. 
and the missile is ready. The blast doors open, extending the loader rail to the launcher arm, and the missile moves on to the launcher. Two missiles are ready in the missile house. The blast doors open, and both missiles move on to the launcher. The blast doors close, and the launcher is trained and elevated. On target, fire, Talos, armed with a nuclear warhead, soars into the sky. In defense of our fleet and our nation, Talos stands ready.